In this video, we are given that 25 raised to the power x minus 55 raised to the power x is equal to 121 raised to the power x. And if you divide both sides of this equation by 121 raised to the power x, we are going to obtain 25 raised to the power x divided by 121 raised to the power x minus 55 raised to the power x divided by 121 raised to the power x must be equal to 121 raised to the power x divided by 121 raised to the power x. But we know that a raised to the power m divided by b raised to the power m is the same as a over b or this raised to the power m. And so this implies that 25 divided by 121, all this raised to the power x minus 55 divided by 121, all this raised to the power x is equal to 1. And we know that 11 will divide 55 5 times and you also divide 121 11 times. And so this implies that 25 divided by 121, all this raised to the power x minus 5 divided by 11, all this raised to the power x is equal to 1. But we can also express 25 divided by 121 in the form 5 over 11, all this squared. So this implies that 5 on 11, all this squared, and all this raised to the power x minus 5 over 11, all this raised to the power x is equal to 1, which can be written in the form 5 on 11, all this raised to the power x and all this squared minus 5 on 11, all this raised to the power x, which is equal to 1. And if you let 5 over 11, all this raised to the power x to be equal to a new variable, say t, then we are going to obtain t squared minus t, which is equal to 1. And this implies that t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. And if you use the quadratic formula, we are going to have t to be equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 on 2. That is, t is equal to 1 plus root 5 on 2, which is greater than 0, or t is equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2, and this is less than 0. And now recall that t is equal to 5 on 11, all this raised to the power x, and that this is always positive for all x in the set of real numbers. So this implies that 5 on 11, all this raised to the power x is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Since 1 minus root 5 on 2 is negative. And from the definition of logarithm, we can write x to be the log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 to the base 5 on 11. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet done so.